and we're going to be part of a new Democratic majority in the United States Senate. We're going to say goodbye to Mitch McConnell. I want to thank my family, my wonderful wife, Catherine, who's been a partner in life. A partner in life as well as every step of the way on the campaign trail. My three wonderful children, Anna, Nick, and Alex. And to my sisters and aunt and cousins, that make up a precinct all by themselves. And I want to thank our entire extended family. We had a great campaign team. Thank all of you who were part of this from day one, and all of you out there who were part of our extended family. Thank you. I also want to thank all the elected officials who were here. Great leaders in the state of Maryland, local officials, state officials, federal officials, people who understand that at the end of the day, regardless of whether we're at the county level or the state level or the national level, we all serve the same constituents and they all expect us to get the work done for them. And I know many of our county executives were already introduced. Uh, I also want to say thank you to our great Attorney General, Brian Frosch, is here. And I also want to thank and acknowledge Congresswoman Donna Edwards for being a strong advocate, for being a strong advocate for Democratic Party values and priorities and I'm grateful for the call I just received from her, and I know we will go forth in unity to win the general election. Yeah. Tonight, I also want to salute another great Marylander, a unique Marylander, Maryland's own Senator Barbara Mikulski. Yeah. As I said long before the new Star Wars movie came out, when Barbara Mikulski is with you, the Force is with you. And she understood that the job of a Maryland senator was, yes, to engage in the big battles at the national level, but she also understood you never forget the people back home in our neighborhoods and communities and delivering results on the ground. And so tonight, I want to say to all Marylanders, whether you're from Baltimore City or Baltimore County or the Baltimore area, whether you're from the Washington suburbs or from Western Maryland or Southern Maryland or the Eastern Shore, I will fight hard for you every day in the United States Senate. Now, You've all been following this crazy presidential election season. <laughs> this is a crazy time in American politics. You've got the Republican presidential frontrunner, Donald Trump, trying to raise himself up by dividing Americans against each other, by trying to pit people against each other based on religion or ethnicity or race. That is not who we are in the United States of America. Yeah. 